Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the third and final night of Deuces Wild, where every match is a tag team match, and every member of SWF was part of a tag team, and we are down to the last four teams in this tournament. The semifinals matches are set, and we are about to find out who is going to battle for the Gun Slingers Championship. In our first matchup of the night, we have Fight and Flight, Vice and SDC taking on the Dogs of War, Jay Wolf, who happens to be our Maverick champion, and Ryan Riley. We have never had a double champion here in SWF, and we might see that here tonight. In our second matchup of the evening, the unlikely team of Ebony and Ivory, Omari Williams and Jackson Montgomery are gonna take on Leo and the Sleaze, Leo McKay and former Maverick champion, Seb Abbott. Now we saw Seb and Jay Wolf go at it a little bit at the end of, of the last episode of Shootout. We're gonna see what that transpires there. But first, let's get into it here tonight. It is gonna be SDC and Vice taking on Jay Wolf and Ryan Riley in the semifinals of this Deuces Wild Tag Team Tournament. Well, here we go, folks. We are getting ready in New Orleans to see who is going to head to those championship match and get a shot at those Gun Slingers championships. Now this team is one I was pretty excited to see in fight and flight. Vice being the fight part and SDC being the flight part. As they go over a first round by being uh, number one seed in this tournament, they had a few matches less, or at least one match less than everyone else. But I'm interested to see with how they handle Jay Wolf. Now, in the last match, we saw Jay Wolf and Ryan Riley take on Bruiser Brad and Malcolm Black. Bruiser Brad and Jay Wolf, they were able to, I guess, counterbalance each other. But now there's not another big man in this match. In fact, all the rest of the people are fairly small men. And then you bring Jay Wolf into this thing, and he looks like a giant. So we are um, going to see how that takes place here tonight. Because I'm, I'm pretty interested to see what happens. And then making their way to the ring your Maverick champion and current holder of the ability to cash in on the Lone Star champion whenever and wherever he wants. So uh, that Maverick championship is also similar to a money in the bank uh, briefcase in, the, in that he can cash in at any time. So I'm interested to see what happens there as well. Now that's outside of this tournament. That's not something that um, we will see here tonight, but it's very possible that we see that in the near future. These guys are ready to go. Here we go, our Maverick champion. Just the look, Ugh. just the look. All right, Jay Wolf's going to start this thing off against Vice, center of the ring. Now, Vice has got to use the speed. Vice and... Oh, my God! Wolf starts this thing off with a suplex pile driver. And Vice's neck was compressed. And then he follows it up with a knee right across the throat. Vice and SDC are going to have to use their speed to take care of of this giant of a man. Oh my gosh, Vice takes Ryan Riley out, but catches a big right hand in the process from Jay Wolf. And nice job there from Vice. He's gonna send Jay to the outside. The entire, all dogs of war are on the outside and Vice brings in SDC now. Oh, a big clothesline from Jay Wolf. This thing might not last very long. Look at Jay. Look at him picking up SDC from the ground straight up into the air. My gosh. And then that's a long way down for SDC. Holy cow. 
This might be over fairly quickly as Jay Wolf again bench pressing SDC and dropping him down onto his chest. Wow, these guys, fight and flight, have yet to have any kind of offense. And just as I say that, nope, I was going to say he catches a, a knee to the chin. And look at the distraction by Riley. That is a fantastic job and great teamwork there from Riley and Wolf. Oh, nice reversal by SDC and an elbow right to the back of the head and jeez. It's just this giant man is going to be able to do things that SDC and Vice are going to be hard pressed to, to get any kind of offense on. Oh, jeez. My goodness. And a dragon screw, that might be the key here for the hero, SDC, is to take out the legs. Clothesline after clothesline. He ducks it. Oh, super kick. And the ref getting a little too close, getting a little bit of stomped on there. And, jeez, Jay Wolf just tossing SDC around the ring. And, oh, big club right across the chest of SDC and now Wolf is gearing up, setting him up and I believe this is called the Blood Moon and he's dropped SDC right on his head he goes down for the pin Vice is not doing Ryan Riley didn't even get into this match Ryan Riley wasn't even in this match and just like that in less than 10 minutes, Jay Wolf and Ryan Riley are the first team in the championship matchup. Who are they gonna face next? My goodness. What a dominating performance from pretty much Jay Wolf. Um, and, and as I said at the beginning of that matchup, that was gonna be hard pressed for fight and flight to get through that. but. We are going to see who is going to face off against Dogs of War. Is it going to be Jackson Montgomery and Amari Williams and Ebony and Ivory? Or is it going to be Leo McKay and Seb Abbott with Leo in the sleaze? Let's see and get into this matchup right now. Well, here we go. We are going to see who heads on to that championship matchup. And we're going to see if... It's going to be Ebony and Ivory, or if it's going to be Leo and the Sleeves. So I'm quite interested to see what happens here. My goodness. And I can't get over America's sweetheart, Jackson Montgomery. That's too much. Here we go. I'm very excited about this. This is my pick to go all the way. This is my pick to go all the way. Just because of the sheer unlikeliness uh, that these two men would ever tag team um, any other time. So, and a team that was kind of forced together, they've gotten pretty far. And, and my goodness, I am excited uh, about that and see what happens. Leo and the Sleeves, another unlikely team, but at the same time, they kind of do go together. So let's see how this works out. Because we've already seen that Ebony and Ivory, Jackmo and Amari can battle each other or can uh, team together fairly well and battle it out to get a win. I am super pumped about that. But Leo is one of the hardest fighting men in this in, in SWF. And as I thought, so was Vice. And Jay Wolf just squashed him. Gotta be fair, Jay Wolf probably weighs a 200 pounds more than Vice or Leo McKay, but that's what happens when you enter the tournament. You know what I'm saying? Leo McKay and Seb Abbott, Leo and the Sleeves, Australian Sleeves, you can see. 
You can't stop him, apparently. In his bright blue metallic shirt. And Omari Williams and Jack Moe on the outside. Let's get this thing underway. I'm still shocked at the, the short amount of time it took the Dogs of War to beat Fight and Flight. Ryan Adams, or excuse me, Ryan Riley didn't even make it into the match. I don't think we're going to have that problem here. Wow, what a jumping clothesline there by Omari Williams, who quickly gets his legs taken out by Leo McKay. And Leo now going to hold his arm down and stomp on Omari's hands and his fingers. Good grief. Look at this. Leo McKay now working the arm and dropping the arm down on Amari Williams and he is going He's going to dive outside the ring to catch a break and a neck breaker there from Leo. Oh, he goes for a right hand but Williams stops him. Williams has him up and a big scoop slam there. And again, Leo taking the legs out from underneath Amari. And again, Leo working the arms of Amari Williams. Just cranking back. Jackson Montgomery's itching to get into this match. And it looks like Omari is going to grant him that wish. And look at Jackson going way up top. And a big top row body splash assisted by Williams. <laughs> look at this dude. Just turning a, a somersault over Leo McKay and posing for the crowd. And oh man, on a second one, big boots right to the face of Leo McKay. And that was like the stiffest spear I have ever seen. Leo rolls out to catch his breath, but Jackson is right there to get him. And a big shoulder block, follow that up. Big belly to belly over the top, belly to belly. And now Jackson's got him hooked up. Oh, geez. Way up in the air. And it looks like Seb is coming in this match hot. And Jackson shuts that down very quickly. Kick to the face, though. Ducks the clothesline and catches a running forearm right to the face. And another spear. A huge spear by Jackson Montgomery, but a, uh-oh. Oh boy. The taunting Australian sleaze gets slung around by his neck, and this one might be over as quickly as it started, much like the last match. Leo making it up to his feet finally and onto the ring apron. Jackson has Seb Abbott up. Oh, the Southern Jackhammer. Amari comes in, dives on Leo McKay. Oh my God. That was intense. That was intense. And Amari's gonna send Seb outside the ring. Holy cow. What a sequence that was though. Out on, on the outside now, Jackson, oh. Catches the kick of Seb. Goes for a European uppercut, it looked like, but Seb hits him over the head, and oh, nice reversal. Right into the apron. And a big shoulder block sends Seb Abbott down. And shots to the midsection now. Uppercut finishes Seb off. They're up to six now. Seven. I don't know what happens if this thing ends in a draw. Into the ring goes Seb. And, oh, Leo's had enough. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. The ref was at nine, and Jackson barely makes it back into the ring. Uh-oh. It looked like he was going for something there, but Seb is able to reverse it. Kick to the midsection, and again... He's going to sling the Australian sleaze around by his neck. My, oh my. Omari Williams and Jackson Montgomery taking control of this matchup. 
Kicks to the midsection now. Oh, and he follows it up with a forearm right to the ear. And it, oh, Jackson looked like he was maybe going to go tag in Omari. And a shoulder block puts him down by Seb Abbott. Seb, oh, geez, going for a big punch, and Jackson blocked it. Samoan drop from America's sweetheart. And a big elbow drop. They're doing a great job of not letting Seb tag in Leo McKay. And look at this submission move. He is really wrenching away at Seb Abbott here. Is Seb going to tap? Jackson Montgomery's not really known as a submission person. Seb is able to get out of it in two big up kicks right to the face of Jackson. Causes him to let go. But Jackson's going to send Ebb into the corner. Oh, my goodness. Seb dodges. And Jackson does the same. Samoan drop by Jackson Montgomery. And here comes Leo McKay. Seb able to get the tag in and a big clothesline. And a drop kick. My goodness, Jackson dodges the drop, or excuse me, the clothesline. Back body drop right under the arm of Jackson Montgomery. Man, Seb took a beating. And now Leo is in there kind of all by himself. But we know, we know what this is. He's coming in, he's going for that rolling neck breaker. Up and he lands it hard and goes down for the pin, but Seb's nowhere to be found. Omari breaks it up, and Omari's outside the ring. Oh, Leo hits him off the apron. Look at Seb. He jumps down, oh gosh. But Leo's up top. Oh, and Jackson gets the knees up. Jackson gets the knees up, and he delivers a huge spear to Leo McKay. But Leo with the arm drag, my goodness. Jerking on the arm now. Holy Toledo, what a move that was. Omari back up on the apron. Shoulder block by Jackson. Jeez. And we are about to see it. Omari wants the tag, but Jackson doesn't see it. Jackson's got Leo up. No. Leo with the reversal. Into the corner now goes Jackson. Shots from the back and the front. Delivered by Seb and Leo. On a leg drop across the back of the head. Oh my goodness. Omari wanted that tag, but Leo shut that down. And Leo, oh, nice reversal there from Jackson. Jackson's going to try again. Center of the ring. He's got Leo up. The Southern Jackhammer down for the pin. The ref might be in the way of Seb Abbott stopping this. What? I don't know what's happened. I don't know if Leo kicked out or if all the madness broke up the pin. Leo dodges the spear, though, of, of Jackson. Headbutt. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Uh-oh. Leo's got Jackson in a cross face and Seb's still in the ring Omari's not coming in to help his partner out but it doesn't look like he needs it look at the strength of Leo McKay with a gut buster and working over the arm now of Jackson holy cow nice reversal by Jackson reversal though by Leo the fireman's carry Right there, he's right there. He just needs to tag in his partner. And Amari will get in this matchup, and it looks like we might have that. Yes, we do. Drop toe hold, elbow to the lower back, and a fresh man, Amari Williams, is back in this matchup. Oh, working the arm. And now Amari might just catch the brunt of this beating. Kick to the midsection now. Oh boy. 
Rolling the dice, face first goes Amari Williams. He's down for the pin. Everybody's in the ring. One, two, three, and my God, with the Luthez from Seb Abbott to Jackson Montgomery. And rolling the dice on Amari Williams. Leo and the Sleaze have won, and they're moving on to take on Jay Wolf and Ryan Riley. This is insanity, and this is amazing all at once, ladies and gentlemen. All these teams created at the last minute, and we've got ourselves a tournament championship matchup. Well, folks, with Leo and the Sleaze <clears throat> currently already in the ring, the Dogs of War are coming down in what looks like to claim those championships. This is it, folks. This is what we've been waiting for. Night after night, we're getting down to this moment. Ryan Riley and Jay Wolf. What is this going to mean if they win for Sons of Carnage? Does Jay Wolf have to join Sons of Carnage? Does Ryan Riley have to leave? Are these guys just te teaming together as long as they're champions? Who knows what's going on? But we are about to find out. Let's get it going here. The Dogs of War taking on Leo in the sleeves. We are about to have new tag team champions, folks, and I cannot be more excited about that. So let's get going. Leo and the Sleaze don't get a break. It is time, folks. The Gunslingers Championship right now. It's happening. The ref holding up the gold, baby. And they look fantastic. Jay Wolf's going to start this match against Leo McKay. If I'm Dogs of War, Jay and, and Ryan, this is how I'm doing it. Oh, my God. And... Leo is not going to let happen what happened to SDC and Vice. Jay, though, I don't know. The strength, the size, everything plays a factor into it. Damn it, Zeb, pay attention. <laughs> Uh-oh. Up. Into the air. Down with a power slam. Good God. That He's got a family, Jay. Jay doesn't care. He wants the gold. He wants it all. Leo, he's going to send Jay into the corner. And now Seb is paying attention. And a double super kick to the face of Jay Wolf. That's probably a hell of a strategy. Keep this giant down. Now remember, they've already, each, man, each team has already had a match tonight. So what's happening? Oh, my God. Big neck breaker by Seb. He's going to pull the giant up to his feet and a big elbow to the face. Oh, God. Oh, my good God almighty. I thought we were about to see the spike from, from Jay. And hanging Seb out to dry over the top rope. Tries to maybe get out of the ring or even get towards his corner. But Jay stops that. And Jay... Getting tossed into the corner by Seb, and he's going to bring in... Uh-oh. He's going to bring in Leo while the ref is distracted. Elbow to the lower back. This might be a hell of a strategy by Leo in the sleaze. Even though Jay is the biggest man, probably the biggest man in SWF, it's not a bad idea to try to keep him down and out. And look at... Oh, my goodness. Chopping away at the legs. Seb, you got to pay attention, brother, if you want to win. And it looks like Leo is going to stretch the chest area out of Jay. Well, look, I mean, just. Oh, and he's going to roll it over for a pin. One, two, no, and Jay kicks out. And Seb tries to get to Ryan Riley. But Ryan gets out of the ring. The ref starts counting Seb out. Are we about to see this go down? Oh, boy. Boy, Ryan could do something. He looks like he might try to get around. And there it is. The rolling neck breaker by Leo McKay. Uh-oh. He has got the arm of the beast of the savage Jay Wolf. 
stomping at the hand. And this could be it for Jay and the Dogs of War. Leo about to roll the dice on the big man. Center of the ring and Jay's busted open. Quickly goes for the pin. Everybody back in the ring. And Ryan Riley breaks up the pin. Seb getting to him. Michinoku driver. My goodness. Leo is cranked. And a reversal by Jay Wolf. He's going to drag Leo around. And we saw this on SDC. Good God Almighty. He has got the very, very small man of Leo McKay in the air. And chest first down into the mat. And, and look at this. A deadlift power slam. And the pin. Ryan Riley's not there to stop it. He gets in. And that's one way to stop up the stop the pin. Take out the ref. Get him, Seb. If you there you go. I mean that just makes sense. But in the end, it doesn't matter. And now Jay just bench pressing. Oh God. Holy cow. And here we go. We're about to see it. Jay's got Leo up right in front of the ref, and it's the Blood Moon. Center of the ring and going for the pin. All the team members come in and Seb breaks it up at the last second. Jumping neck breaker to Seb Abbott by Ryan Riley. Seb's out. Ryan getting counted. Uh oh. Uh oh. A nice reversal though. It looked like Ryan was going to get counted out. I was just trying to see what was going on here. Kick to the midsection from after that reversal. And again, second time, dear God. And very smart by Leo McKay, pulling Jay away from Ryan Riley. The ref, oh, Jay's pretty long. That might have been a, a rope break there. And flipping him over, nice shoulder throw. And Jay is going to use this opportunity to get out of the ring, but so is Leo. Here comes Seb Abbott, huge clothesline to start this thing off with Ryan Riley. Remember, we didn't even see him at all in the match uh, against SDC and Vice. Jay Wolf took over that match, and that thing was over in three minutes. Yeah, that's right. Into the corner now goes Ryan in a massive running clothesline. Leo on the outside. Oh, no, low blow to Ryan Riley. Seb, jawbreaker by Riley though. The man's got balls of steel into the corner. Oh man, a refreshed Jay is not something you want to be a part of. Seb looks to his corner for some help, but no one was there. Oh geez. Leo finally making it up to the ring apron. Seb rolling him over. The ref might be counting to three and no. Seb Abbott is able to kick out. Oh, and crawling to his corner. Look at Ryan Riley trying to catch his breath. Big clothesline. No, Seb reversed it. Back body drop to the Savage. And now Seb hooking Jay Wolf up in the camel clutch. Ryan Riley staring right into the eyes of Jay Wolf, his teammate. Is Jay going to tap? I don't think we've ever seen Jay tap. I don't think that's ever happened. And it doesn't look like it's going to happen here tonight. Elbow to the midsection. Looked like Jay was going. Oh, my God. Everybody is dodging clotheslines and body splashes left and right. Hung up on the ropes now. Jay will. Oh, nice reversal by seven. He hits him with a clothesline from hell. That might be it for the Dogs of War. Riley comes in and breaks up the pin. Leo, everybody's going after Riley now. Leo sends Ryan Riley outside the ring. Get back on your apron, he says. Look at Seb, though, taking care of all of them. A stomp to Jay, back to Ryan Riley. And he drops the fist. Ryan going for a kick of some sort, misses. Seb misses the kick, dodges the clothesline, dodges the hit from the back. Dear God, 
What is happening? And a low blow from Seb Abbott is a desperation move. My goodness. This has been crazy in the last few moments of this matchup. And Jay Wolf kicks out at two. Oh, I am out of breath just calling this thing. Oh my God, he gets hit with a clothesline from hell. That could be it. Ryan Riley's in. And no, Ryan Riley late to break up the pin. And ladies and gentlemen, we have new gunslinger champions. And it is Leo and the Sleaze. Oh my God, Leo McKay and former Maverick champion Seb Abbott are your new SWF Gunslinger Tag Team Champions. What a wild ride this has been. Thank you everybody for joining us and we'll see you on Shootout.